Now at 6, a high-speed police chase and violent crash shuts down a stretch of I-95 for the morning rush and leads to the arrest of five teenagers. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. One teen was as young as 15, and all five had to go to the hospital. Tonight, we're hearing from some of their family members. CBS 4's Austin Carter is live outside Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital with the very latest. Austin? Hey, Elliot and Lauren. Well, we have been watching Fort Lauderdale police go in and out of the ER entrance here at Joe DiMaggio's really all day long ever since uh, this crash and police pursuit happened. But I do want to get straight to some video uh, that we are told has been given to Fort Lauderdale police, and you are going to see this first on four. This is new surveillance footage just obtained from a CBS4 viewer in the Bayview area. Now, we do not know for sure if this video shows the same suspects in vehicle involved in today's chase. However, that is where police originally were responding to an attempted car theft that then led to this morning's chase and crash on 95. The video shows someone jumping a wall and a vehicle that's very similar to the SUV involved in the chase. Family members of the five young people taken into custody spoke with us about what happened today. It was devastating. It hurt me so bad. Kamari Craig says his 16 year old brother Rashawn remains in the intensive care unit. He gave us this picture of his brother. Rashawn was inside this SUV that was involved in a chaotic chase and crash on I-95 in the middle of the morning rush hour Wednesday. This speeding and stolen SUV losing control, hitting two other vehicles before crashing into a guardrail and flipping over. I thought I lost my brother now. Chopper 4 flying fast as police followed the SUV on the ground as it swerved in and out of lanes. It all came to an end here at the Pembroke Road exit. FHP troopers and police quickly surrounding the vehicle, belly up, and pulling suspects out. He was hanging out. You can see on the video. Toya says her nephew, also 16 years old, was behind the wheel. I'm not justifying none of the kids' behavior. They were wrong, but I just think the police could have handled it a better situation than what they did. Crews were quick to sweep up the debris left by the crash. Police say five juveniles who were inside that stolen SUV were taken to Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. Toya says she is still waiting for answers about her nephew. We don't even know the condition yet. This all began just before 7 this morning when Fort Lauderdale police got a call about multiple people trying to steal a car near East Oakland Park Boulevard and Bayview Drive. Police tried to stop the vehicle, but the driver kept going. Police say the SUV then hit a bicyclist at an intersection near Broward Boulevard and I-95. Florida Highway Patrol also getting involved as the driver hopped on the interstate headed south. Sharon Gluck was inside this blue Honda SUV that was clipped seconds before the crash. I spun around another car. I saw another car being hit and I twirled. And when I finally stopped, there was a police car in front of me and they had drawn, the police had drawn their guns and they told me to quickly get to the side of the road. Sharon is okay, but others were not as fortunate. This person being taken away on a stretcher and take a look at that backup. All southbound lanes were shut down. And we know at least two Florida uh, law enforcement agencies are investigating everything that happened today in Fort Lauderdale, where you saw that home surveillance footage. We know there they are still investigating that burglary and attempted car theft. For now, we are live in Hollywood. I'm Austin Carter, CBS 4 News.